Gobble, gobble, food FAQ viewers. It is kitchen quickie time. Thanksgiving kitchen edition. <laughs> Side edition. So I want to say it's odds and ends edition. Like all the stuff we didn't cover. Like odds gravy. And ends. That's gravy. a good one. Cranberry sauce. That's a good one. I and like gravies. Things, yeah, me too. And they're easy. I want to tell you about my gravies. Tell me, daddy. So this is how I make a gravy. It's really easy, Mariela. All right. Mm -hmm. So you need a little bit of fat to start the gravy off in a pan. So you've you've made your turkey. Now we're going to make a gravy to go with it. So you need a little bit of fat. What I do, it's Thanksgiving. So you're going to get like a big hunk of butter, like about a half a stick of butter. You're going to go ahead and put it on a pan. You're going to let it start melting. I mean, you know, screw it. You can just go for the whole stick also. And then you want to get about two tablespoons of flour and go ahead and put those tablespoons of flour in there and start using a whisk. And we are making a roux. You want to get it like to just basically where you're cooking the flour. So I like to get it like a little bit of like a tannish color. So not too dark. And as you're doing that, I like to go ahead and put in a splash of white wine. So you keep whisking this entire time. So I put the splash of white wine into that roux. It's still going to be a little bit of a thick ball of clay. Then what you do is you take all the turkey drippings. So all the juice that came out. And you're probably going to add about two cups, but you're going to add it slowly. And that's the key to a smooth gravy. So you're going to just keep using your whisk, keep whisking, adding a little bit of the turkey drippings, keep whisking, add a little bit more of the turkey drippings, keep whisking, and then keep going. I would honestly say about two cups of drippings. If your turkey didn't produce two cups of drippings, that's fine. Use a little bit of the chicken stock that you may have used earlier for your stuffing or mashed potatoes or things like that. When it is done, you're going to go ahead and take it off the heat. It's going to continue thickening. So if it looks a little bit of, a little runny, it's fine. It's going to continue thickening. Then go ahead and taste it right. for salt and pepper or anything like that. Just remember all of that butter, all of that salt, pepper, thyme, sage that you went ahead and flavored your turkey with is in those drippings. Mm -hmm. So taste it. I've made the mistake num numerous times of having really salty gravy. Because I seasoned it. So right. definitely, definitely tasted. And that's it, Madi. It is the simplest, easiest thing to do. And it goes delicious on your turkey. Yes. And it's honestly, it's it saves the turkey. Because it yeah, gives it, it a does. little moisture. And it remembers <laughs> that it's supposed to taste like something. Because gravy is horribly bland. I mean, not gravy. Turkey is horribly bland. Yeah. And if you don't have drippings, you can just straight up use chicken stock. Right, Keter? Yeah. I mean Whatever you're cooking with, absolutely. You can use chicken stock beef broth, things like that. Whatever you use to cook with, you can go ahead and use for this. Absolutely. Okay. I like your your gravy, Daddy. And I, I think it's important. So please don't skip this step. Make it. Right. It'll change your turkey's life. All right. So I'm going to talk about, what do we call this? Cranberry sauce, which I like cranberry sauce from the jar. Cranberry I think it's sauce. good. I do too. But I don't like the jelly. I like the sauce. Oh, no. I like the jelly. I want a slice of it. I want to cut it. I don't know, it looks like fish food for some reason. I don't know why I think that. Because <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> it looks like something a fish would eat. <laughs> it, uh, it looks like a disc of jelly. It's gelatinous. I, get, I don't know. Whatever. I make it, right, with real cranberries sometimes if I'm feeling super crafty. I did this during the, um, I was going to say the hurricane, during the pandemic because, I don't know, I really got into like making things from scratch during the pandemic. And here it is. Cranberry guava sauce it's so good so very good. good so here's the recipe write this down three quarters of a cup of brown sugar a half a cup of oj half a cup of water 12 ounces of fresh cranberries a pinch of salt a stick of cinnamon about a three inch size peel of lemon six ounces of guava paste and one teaspoon of lemon juice so if you don't have guava paste maybe you can use a jam or a jelly it's fine it'll still be sweet and yummy and you can replace it for whatever flavor you want so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to combine the sugar the oj the water over medium heat you're going to add the cranberries the salt the spices the paste the lemon juice all the things you're going to bring it to a simmer stirring it frequently you're going to cook it for 10 minutes and then you're going to let it cool for 30 minutes and it is so good because cranberries is another thing that tastes like shit yeah have you ever bitten into a cranberry before horrendous fucking horrible <laughs> like who sat there and thought to themselves and, and you know what's funny like cranberry juice is like one of my favorite juices things like that now mind you though it's cranberry cocktail it's not cranberry juice but who like sat there and like looked at this like 
fucking nasty ass berry. No. It's like, you know what? I'm going to cultivate this. Yes. And it's going to be really difficult to cultivate because I'm going to have to flood a field. <laughs> you let them all float to the top so I can get them. Oh my God. And the some of the coldest climates in America. Yes. And then <laughs> I'm going to have to completely <sighs> change the flavor of the it. fuck out of it to yeah. make it palatable. <laughs> The ancestors were some freaking sauce. hardcore motherfuckers. Okay, like they took some chances on things. <laughs> that Seriously, I think we would take. <laughs> God, it's horrible. Um, anyway, so these are our little quickie sides that will add some more dimension and flavor and taste to your meal, and a little touch of like, bitch, I did that. I really went all out on Thanksgiving, which I don't know. Sometimes I like, I makes my ego real deliciously happy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we know. Oh, fuck you, you bitch. <laughs> anyway, this quickie. Well, this is a fun quickie. Yeah, it's been longer, but I think it's useful and you can still add it to your list because you still have time to go out and get the last minute things and go through like the suburban jungle and get what you need. So we'll see you on the flip side of Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. And we're going to give you all the leftover goodness. Have a good day. Bye bye.